Hey everyone, how you doing? December 27th, final update time. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. For Christmas, um, Jim Fields, who is the director of the movie <clears throat> Fly Over Country that I did the soundtrack for, and there's the poster behind me, he gave me a gift certificate from um, uh, Almost Music, so I went and um, turned it in today and I uh, got um, something for um, so late Christmas present and uh, final update. I went and um, used the uh, certificate to uh, pick this up because I don't know if I'd have gotten it otherwise. Flower Traveling Band Makeup. This is a Phoenix Records reissue. We're pretty sure, well not we're, but you know, we don't know, I don't know if it's um, a legitimate label or not, but Flower Traveling Band from Japan, this live 72, I think. Um, best known for their album Satori, which is amazing. This is really good, I'm listening to it now. Love this packaging. Now, I believe I've seen an original of this when I was in Japan. And the original, this is actually, I don't know if it's actually made of leather, but this actually was a pouch that would, you could open the flap up and then pull the album out. Here's the actual album, Makeup, Flower Traveling Band. I like it. Japanese fried rock. I think um, I don't have the Julian Cope Japan rock sampler, but I'm certain he's talked about this band in there. All right, quick. Um, another album. This is the one that you may know, uh, Satori, Flower Traveling Band. Just fantastic. The only other things I got today um, with my gift certificate was <clears throat> I got Black Sabbath Volume 4. The price was nice. I am a Black Sabbath fan. Sabbath Bloody Sabbath is the one that I still need on vinyl. But this was in good shape with the, the booklet intact. The record's in great shape. The record's in great shape. I think my favorite Black Sabbath album, though, is Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, but I like this one, and I wanted to, you know, again, it was pretty good shape. And then, looking in his budget records, or the ones that are a dollar or two, I saw these, and it's not that I need these, but there's a nostalgia factor, so I picked up some of these. Oldies but goodies on the original sound label, which is partially why I got them, is the original sound label put out the Music Machine, Talk Talk, and Dyke and the Blazers, Funky Broadway, and some other cool stuff. So that was a factor. But um, I got volume 11, volume 14, which is still sealed, still sealed. These were originally bought at Kmart. Actually, it's a radio station copy. This is an interesting sticker. Radio station complimentary copy. <laughs> and then a little thing about Kmart. And then I got um, volume nine, which is still sealed. That was another thing, you know, two bucks for these still sealed. And then volume 12, which was open. But I picked those up today. So a little bit of vinyl um, therapy, vinyl magic. Getting records is always fun. I love getting records, okay? Yesterday I played a few records. One of the records I played was Kingdom Come, Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come. This is an odd record. Listening to the music and the words, it seems very subversive, and I'm wondering what was really going on behind this album, you know? What was this about? Because it's like weird. <laughs> I like weird music, but it's like, what is this record about? Daryl Grosh, if you happen to see this or still watch, I played this yesterday. The split that you gave me with Pulse Emitter, Date Palms, Expo 70, and Faceplant. But now what I listened to yesterday that I really enjoyed was the Faceplant side. 
but I had this out, so I played this. And it was um, something I got through VCLT. Another VCLT that I got last year that I forgot, sort of forgot about, was this guy in Greece, Sabas. He had a one copy made of some songs of mine that he really likes called it DVH. He has a service where he presses up, you know, records, you know, just like a one time deal. So I pulled this. The quality is, is low, it is, because it's like, you know, just a, I don't know if it's a lathe cut or what, but the sources, you know, the source material is third, fourth generation, but this was still pretty cool, that package of a gift that I just had sitting out. I think I'll stop right there. Um, I'll probably do um, an end of the year kind of culmination, looking back, looking forward video here in the next day or two. Lots to uh, reflect on. Some of you will notice though that I have been starting to comment more on other videos that I watch outside of music. Um, regarding current events and history and other conspiracy theory type of things. And I'm, I'm responding back at times to people who have this tendency, there's just this tendency to, for the anonymous person to just be really shitty and mean. And I'm, I'm addressing it because I think that it needs to be addressed. Um, negativity and meanness and divisiveness is very destructive. It's what's going on today and we need unity. We need to find ways of getting along better. And I'm, I'm all about that. And that's what I'm pushing. And so if you see comments on other videos where I'm watching stuff about the news and stuff and somebody tries to insult me or call me a pussy or something, I'm responding back very calmly in an adult manner, which is, I just don't understand this. You know, it's like, you know, <laughs> can we talk as adults? What's wrong with you? You know, why are you doing this? Are you a child? Are you not human? Are you just full of um, venom, anger, and rage that you just strike out at everyone? It's not cool. It's not adult either. And so I'm addressing it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to help. <laughs>